Okay, we're gonna start up a uh, big crow mountain, little crow mountain, and kind of a long uh, ridge hike along uh, the Nandagaho Ridge and over to Hurricane Mountain and back the other way. I'm gonna drive up here along this little dirt road, about a good sized parking lot. And uh, take some videos along the way, haven't done this in a while. But let's head up here working on uh, Lake Placid Diner today. Okay, part way up the trail here. See a split off for uh, the uh, Nunda Go Ridge trail there, so we'll come back to that. The sign here saying 0.2 miles to Big Crow. So I'm pretty quick to get up here. A little steep, but the trail's pretty good. Not bad by Adirondack standards. I think it's a little steep right here. Not bad though, some views opening up. So here we are, we're up at uh, Big Crow Mountain. Nice little hike up here, Took about 20 minutes, not bad. And then uh, coming down the other side and right in back of me, you can see uh, Little Crow Mountain over there, which is quite a ways farther down. I'm gonna go back over there, and we're gonna come back up here, continue on from there. Okay, so came up along the trail over to Little Crow Mountain. Now that's a red mark trail, and there's a blue marker I saw, so I took it side trail leads up to this big rock here which seems to be a highest point along here and this big crow mountain over there this is kind of like the false first summit of the little crow we gotta keep going a little bit to a blue marked side trail but uh did all that and i'm gonna head back up uh big crow there it's kind of steep coming down that was the hardest part of getting over here not too much uh coming up on this one fairly easy finish with a uh, Big crow and little crow, and I'm on my way back down the trail split here. About an hour, 15 minutes. Not bad, making good time. Not really time myself too much, but that's where I'm at. And I'm gonna head over here and check this uh, ridge trail out and go all the way around. Way up over there through those trees. Hurricane Mountain Fire Tower, eventually. This is our uh, Nundagaho Ridge Trail here. Nice little trail through the woods. Up along this ridge so far, going up and down. A peaceful hike and not much company. This looks like the one. It's a little bit of traffic, but doesn't seem like there's a whole lot. On a Nundagaho Ridge Trail here and uh, take a little break with these great views looking over toward a white face over there and sentinel range not bad great views you can see mount marcy and their high peaks way over there so get a little snack and something to drink here Uh oh, had a little mud. Ooh, that's deep. It's a little dark when the clouds come over. Here's our trail. Ooh. We gotta go up that. That's straight up and down, but it'd be a cool climb, but won't be our trail turns over this way. Aren't we lucky? Looks like a little side trail up to the top of this uh, cliff and boulder area here. Whew, a little ways down there. Be careful going up there and check this out. 
Ooh, right on the edge. Uh, you gotta hike all the way up here. You gotta check this out. Whew. This is pretty cool. Takes a few minutes to checking things out along the way. Enjoy it while I'm up here. This might actually be the trail, who knows? We'll find out in a second or a few minutes. I can tell people have gone up here, it looks like. The air is just warm because of the rain and the weathering. This climbing up here, I can see another bunch of cliffs over there. So we'll check that out next. Oh, wow, some great views from up here. Neat stuff. Coming up on our uh, next cliff band there. Actually, coming down from that last one, I found a little easy short trail you can get up there without climbing. But this one here. So we got a little bit of scrambling to do up this one. I'm gonna put this camera away from it. A little breeze up here. See a little uh, trail marker up here or summit marker. But let's know we're still on the trail, which the trail's pretty easy to follow really. It's not bad. No trail markers along the way, but it's worn enough to make your way along it. No problem. Well, this is really neat up here. I'm the king of the world. Eventually we'll get way over there to a Hurricane Mountain Fire Tower. Kind of an adventurous trail. A little bit of everything. Pretty tight in here. But pretty neat. Something different. Yeah, pretty cool trail this one. Got a little bit of everything in it. Sure is the long way to a Hurricane Mountain way over there, but I think we're getting a little bit closer. Continue down here to uh, this other rocky part and take a look around. Whew. Don't go uh, too fast along here. So, right over there is a uh, came out and it's getting closer we'll go back over here to the way we came uh, I believe right there is big crow a little crow will be on the other side can we see that and we came up along the ridge here up and down and up and down a lot of cool scenery in the woods and along the cliffs a pretty good option for the day especially on a great day like this Alrighty, leave right now. We should be on now. We're getting uh, a lot closer to Hurricane Mountain over there. I'm just gonna go down there, around that pond on the right side there, around and up there, Hurricane. Okay, you don't the the big loop there down to the next. Uh, Trail Junction for Hurricane Mountain. So, this is Hurricane Mountain, two miles. So, we're gonna head up this way. Head up uh, Hurricane Mountain. And we'll come back this way and head right down there. 
Back to the car. Top of Hurricane Mountain. Ooh. Where did we start at? It's even hard to pick out where we started at from there. Let's see. Okay, way in the distance is Lost Pond. Way over there. We started over there. that ridge or the western mountain down past that pond down to the valley and then all the way up the trail all the way up here okay up the fire tower hurricane mountain Ooh. beautiful day to be up here few people up here enjoying this today, no blame them. You down from Hurricane Mountain. Now three o'clock at the trail junction back there. It says we got about one mile left on this pretty easy looking trail on the way out. Fairly level, smooth trail. Easy on the feet. Then a great loop hike. Our longest way to do Hurricane Mountain definitely awesome should we'll be coming up on the trailhead here in a minute and here we are at the trailhead we need a nice loop today I'll go sign in at the other one there we are, signed out, the trail register, and they're done. And it said, uh, 7 hours, 18 minutes for that whole loop, 12 miles. It said 4,000 some odd feet elevation gain, but I'm not sure if that might be a little much. I'll have to double check that. But, great day, and I'm going to grab a soda and some dinner in a little bit.